discrete trials. Better understand discrete behavior first. Discrete behavior is a behavior that has a clear beginning and an end. Hello! That was a clear behavior with a beginning and an end. Hello! Hello! Hello, hello, hello! Hello! Those are all discrete behaviors, right? They have a clear beginning and an end. Now, if you're talking about, like, crying, that does not have a clear beginning and an end. It just kind of goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. It's not discrete. It's continuous, right? So then you, we got to think about discrete trial. A trial is the opportunity with which you have to perform the operant response, the behavior. So when in a discrete trial, you set up a scenario where the, the organism, the person, has, a, has an opportunity to perform the response, and they do, or they don't, but they do, they should. So you need them to, otherwise it wasn't a trial. Or it was a trial, but they didn't perform zero responding. Eh, all that crap. This stuff just gets all bum jumbled up in here, and it's hard to get out. Anyway, discrete trials. It's just that opportunity to perform the response when that opportunity is available. Did the response happen? Did it not? How often did it happen? So on and so forth. Not how often did it happen. Don't use that. That's bad. Um, just did it happen or not during the discrete trial. <laughs> discrete trial training. <laughs> See autism.